Hi, back again. Um, Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, we're going to have a little play with some of more embellishments and then we're going to have a look, another look at the actual picture and work out the edging for it. Now, if you remember before, we, we made some toilet paper skulls. So I painted this one in red and got him green eyes and the next one's going to be green with red eyes so let's give it a go now in order to hold them so that they don't wriggle out the way I'm using my trusty knitting, double ended knitting needle comes in handy for all sorts of things um, using it's yeah it's a metal skewer basically but um it's really really handy ends up getting painted itself i think it's a thing sorry i think i was blocking the view with my hand there difficult to get in there especially with a fiddly bit like this let you see what I'm doing and see what I'm doing myself okay let's get into that little let's get your teeth done Ooh, the green teeth they've gone moldy oh my goodness yeah, moldy teeth Turn you around so we can get to the other side. I'll bring you back into the picture. Okay, try not to knock me now, polish over because that would be a bit of a disaster. I've already had one thing being knocked over today. I had a lovely tray of all my little trinkets to play with and the cat knocked it off the shelf so we had to play pick it up and find it yeah, literally to make a cup of tea and all of a sudden crash i think one of them decided he wanted to come in with us thought he was missing out on something and leapt off the top of the wardrobe in a big hurry and kaponk it all went flying. Let's have a little bit more around your back. Short back and sides, sir. Right. Give you a bit of red eye and leave you to dry. Oh, she's a poet and she knows it. really to give it um, a bit of interest so we'll put them to one side to dry don't fall down the hole folks don't fall down the hole right we've got a bit more of um, dye uh, inking to do um, before my plan comes together so aqua green I'm gonna put on these no wrong lid Deborah oh I keep doing that good job I didn't tip it so let's bring it over to the silver bit so you can see them better they basically they are um, beads um, which I've got a little swirl to them, which we're going to use behind the flowers. Well, we've got some flowers to go on here. 
I will show all of be revealed in a moment. Just let this dry while we plot our border. And then we will reveal to you just those couple of bit of housekeeping stuff that we needed to get done. So you can see the, the little circles in there are the ones I've just coloured. So we'll pop them to one side. So we've while we've been off air, we've been playing around with various designs for the border. We've decided to keep the short lolly sticks, not short, long, short, long, as we were going to do originally. Um, so best laid plans and all the rest of it. It doesn't necessarily mean just because you thought one thing that you're going to end up with that thing. Um, because another idea might occur to you in the meantime try it out and you might like it better so this is what we've come up with so we're going to do green on this corner two greens but they're going to come out a little bit so we can put something on this corner and green here but orange here so it's going to green, 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 and orange going around the other section. So it's split it up into like a, a diamond shape or triangular shape, which gives it new interest. We have the old keys. So one of them's going to go that way and one of them's going to go downwards. So again, they're the similar position, but up and down to each other. Now my zipper, I thought would make a nice dangle coming off the end. I'll push it on a bit further, but it will come onto the edge and then dangle down. So that's as far as got at the moment so I'm going to now I know that these are going to be in that position I'm going to glue them on and then we can work on the next section um, which I think I know but putting them back down again maybe I'll change my mind oh and the other one that was going to go so we've got the four quadrants we have the black rose at the top here and our keys coming out and our dangly zipper so now our lolly sticks we need a bit more on them but I haven't quite decided what to put on them yet um, but that can be added once they're glued down so that that's not an issue we can come back to them um i was thinking some of the gems over there might work black black backed ones rather than the ones that roll so the glue i'm going to be using needs to be quite strong because obviously it's going to have to go upright and go down so it's going to have to have the gravity with it so i'm going to be using I can find it. There we go. My B7000. It's medium vis viscosity. Vis viscosity, even. Multifunctional adhesive magic glue. Extraordinary strength, ability, amazing design. Sold all over the world. So there you go. And it. gives a transparent finish after curing it's quite hard about three minute drying time so 
um, but obviously it has to cure properly over time. Um, and it can pretty much glue most things for crystal, diamond, adhesive. So it's, you know, designed to carry a bit of weight, shall we say. Oh, I was just, just reading the label there, but it's very, very tiny print, so it's quite difficult to see. So I'm going to go one stick at a time. Or one side at a time, sorry. So I'm adding some of this glue to the stick. Now, you've got a few minutes, as it said, to position your piece. I wouldn't hang about. Um, right, so I want that there, I want that there. Get that on that edge there. That on the edge. And that's us there. That one over there. That one there. That one on there. Okay, so we're going to do this one next. I'm going to work our way round the board putting the sticks on but not the center pieces at the moment because they need to be balanced um, in the center once the sticks are on so next stick I'm quite excited to get the um, all the preparation work um, is all pretty much done now and then now it's just a matter of um, piecing everything together in the right positions. So I'm really pleased with it so far. Now that needs to come down. That needs. Now I'm going to let the the green sticks dry. They're in position now. Ooh, they were in position until I stood it off. Now I'm going to turn upside down and put the orange ones on, giving the green ones chance to dry, on that side anyway. And I'm putting my lid on my glue each time because this is another one that does like to bubble up and you end up with a big blob on the end otherwise. And don't want your your lid of your glue sticking to you um, so you can't open it again so once again we make sure this is lined up onto the edge get my shirt out of the way so it doesn't get stuck to the board and this one needs to come out a little bit line up to the edge this one comes up make sure they meet in the right place So I'm happy with that. Next one. I'm putting plenty on so that um, I want it to last. I want this to be a talking point. Um, in my craft room. Ooh, where did you get that from? Well, all over the place. I made it. There's a bit of history here. So, I'm going to take pride of place in my craft room. If I can find a bit of wall to put it on, that is. <laughs> those, those that you know my craft room will have a snigger at that because there isn't an empty wall because it's either completely shelved or there's pictures on the spare bits but I did find a little corner by the window that I can put it in right so that's that's glued down nicely it's not moving at all now that's good so we'll put the orange one there
I mean, I don't suppose someone swinging off the end of it or trying to pull the zip would um, stay on for very long, but as long as uh, it's not sort of manhandled too much, I think it will last. And if something does fall off, we can always stick it back on, can't we? Hopefully it won't, then. Right, so I'm bringing that up to meet with that one. lined up. Sorry if I'm making you giddy by spinning it around, especially um, going through the hole. And the last two sticks to go on. And then we have to make sure we go back to our original orientation because there is an up and a down to it. No. Otherwise it will be sideways or upside down and we can tell that by the position of the lettering basically that tells us it's up and down if i'd done the lettering every which way upside down back from front of way it wouldn't have mattered so much but because the hanger is up here then to me that's the top so that's what i've been basing it on Want that there come off you not what you are but you can come away that's it another strange thing i've made out of lolly sticks is um i actually made a pair of a couple of pairs of earrings from my lolly sticks um, a little while ago, so maybe we can give them a go at some point. If you're into making jewellery, we can give it a go. Right, so we were going to put the keys. That one was going that way, and that one was going that way. So let's pop our keys down. Now if it holds the weight of the keys then we're good because these are quite heavy keys. I'm going to put plenty on all over. Wouldn't that another rub it all over or something? Can't remember what it's for now. Right. that in place and let the weight of it hold it down not too much wriggling around now and the other one now yeah that's got enough patina on it doesn't really matter which way up they've got enough um, edge to, to glue on. Right, and that one. Ah, I've got my finger in it. Ugh. Goodness, I'll have my fingers stuck together in a minute. And that in there. Okay, so what do we have here? Next, we want to put our top and bottom embellishments here and here. So, I'm going to do the rose first because it's higher up and I'm not going to knock things going forward. Um, reaching over, sorry. My rose, a good old gluing up and I don't think there's an up and a down to this rose so if you on there be lovely get you centred 
Are you nice and centered? I think so. And now we put our zippy on and our dangle. Now there might be more than one dangle, but I haven't decided yet on the, the other one. I'm experimenting, but I need to see what it looks like in situation with this first. Now, let's try and get you level, Mr. Uh, are we level? Are we squared? Oh, I left my glue undone. Oh dear. That's not good. Right, so I was planning on putting a little black rose in each of the corners to match the rose at the top here. So we've popped them on. Oh, hang on. Nope. We we had a change of plan. That's all right. That's all right. We can. Oh, <laughs> are, are they um, dry? Let's see. Are they dry? We can put them up top on top of the lolly sticks. It might might be better actually. So we're going to put a skull in each of the diagonal corners and a rose in the opposite diagonal corners. I was just reminded. I was just. I originally had done the. The black roses in each corner but um my director and technician here had a wonderful idea of using the skulls that we made in a previous episode to to show what we would use it for so here we go and put you there and we're going to put you up here And they are good fun. No, don't stick to my fingers. You're supposed to stick to the, the wood. Okay. There we go. There we do. And you settle there now. Thank you. Oh, right. I'm going to put a blob of glue on the corner here. Because I it's tricky when you've got something in your hand to remember to to put the lid on the glue but which is it's better if you can do that all right i've got my little rose there and just turn slightly to get to this rose so it's beginning to take shape but it's not quite as 3d as i'd like it to be but we can work on that. So. so we bring it back up, hoping, hoping, hoping everything's stuck. Just to test me dangle out. Oh, where are we? Here we go. And nothing's fallen off! Yay! So I'm just going to turn it round and show the camera. Is that the right way to do it? Better the other way round. Okay. But all that twisting and turning nothing's fallen off yet so I'm happy about that <laughs> so, yeah I'm really happy with that so the next thing to do is work on our edging now I'm going to flick my zipper up we were practicing oh not practicing 
we were sampling our my washi tape and um, this is the design we've come up with so we've got a thick washi tape here in a rose pink blush I suppose you could call it rose gold and then a goldy gold with a little um, geometric pattern on to um, go over the top so I'm hoping if I tip it on its side I can hold it up with some tape maybe I don't need it tipped right up I just need it um, to, oh jam jar will probably do it no because the ink could drip on that thing yeah that's it that's it that's better well, I've got my jam jar underneath it just so that I've got an edge to work on it's jammy very jammy So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my washi tape to the top edge because it's ever so slightly taller than when I want that I want it to be. So line it to the top edge, roll it around the corner. keep going and just loosely tack it to that side and then I need to burnish it down with my bone folder or some such thank you just to make sure it stays in place while I work round the other side um, gently roll it round and the wonderful stuff with the washi tape is you can peel it off and pop it back on again if it's not quite level so come to the corner pull it round so it holds it in place and then smooth it down burnish it down and keep going round and this way you only have a join um, on one edge you haven't got lots of joins going round so pull it back to the corner straighten it up and keep going round burnish that down and the last side and I'm hoping yes I have got enough tape <laughs> I was wondering I didn't look a lot on the roll I was hoping that I'd have enough tape And normally I would tear my washi, but I'm going to cut it. Thank you. My able assistant here handing me a nice pair of scissors. Uh, just going to cut it before the corner. Um, and then that's that one done. The next one's a little bit more tricky. We want to get this one on nice and firm first, so I'm going to keep going around burnishing it down. Now, on the corners, put that on the jar there so it's not got hopefully balanced on anything, so it's nice and flat. On the corners, if you just clip your corner and then you can fold it in and fold it over itself and fold it down. My skull's fallen off. Hang on, I'll have to stick him back on in a minute. Probably because I haven't waited for it to finish. So once again, snip down the corner and then you can fold it over itself. And then you've got some nice smooth neat edges. 
Anything else want to fall off? No, it's just that one. Okay. Try and keep that so uh... No, I can probably cut round it. I don't have the little um, screwdrivers handy. And keep going round. Keep going round. Nearly, nearly there. Little snip in the corner. Because we've got to this top bit, I'm going to snip level with that, snip level with that so I can fold these bits down. And that bit. And then I'm going to do a little triangle, slanty, like that. I'm back the other way. then mean I should with a bit of ingenuity be able to tuck that underneath here there we go nice neat jobby burnish it down with my finger now beautiful so we now have a lovely shiny finished edge Now I'm gonna. Oh, I've lost my skull. Now the skull's fallen off. Goodness me! Right, re-glue. <coughs> I'm gonna re-glue my skulls. Let everything dry, and we'll come back to you next time and finish off the edging, because I think if I'm gonna play with it, other things might fall off. So now, did we have the green was at the top, wasn't it? I'm gonna put more glue on here. Yes, we have it the right way up. We don't want your faces facing downwards. And come back here, Red Skull. What are you doing with that? Oh. He's been to the barbers, he's got a haircut. with you in a second just trying to put my glue back on with and get the hair off me my little face my little skull right you stay on this time mr skull hair off stuck to my finger now so here we are let's take the jar out so we can get a better picture It's taking shape, not quite there yet, but I think you're beginning, to, hopefully you're beginning to get the picture of the vision that I had for it. Um, next episode, I'm hoping will be the final episode and the finale where everything will be together and you'll see the final result of all our hard work. Much love. See you in the next one.